Corin Chesterson Ultimate Hoops Basketball League here in Westchester with Brett Axelrod of Massa Coastal, who just won their semifinal game 83-63 decisively over Pippin Ain't Easy and their former teammate, AJ, who made a mid-season transfer over to them. What was it like playing against AJ, first off? First of all, was he on the floor? I don't remember playing against him. No! Wow! <laughs> I'm just teasing for all of you out there in TV land. First of all, AJ's an incredible player. We have the utmost respect for him. And he balanced his team out. And he got him to the semifinals. If it weren't for him, they wouldn't be here. Um, but he wanted, it, he wanted to beat us badly, but we wanted to show him, hey, we can win without him. So again, we have a nice balanced attack. We added a big man this year, which was key for us. Steve Sirwaka did his normal amazing thing. And our role players, really stepped up today to get the win. That's, you know, that's why we won today. He's tooting his own horn over here because he knows he's a role player. So you played awesome. I saw a second half, you had a Eurostep move, and then I, you know, I thought you were too old for Eurostep. Where'd you learn that one? Listen, I'm going to be 49 years old. I still got a little left in the gasket, and I will tell you, no, I'm like, uh, Steve Sawaki trains me once a week, so he teaches me everything I know. But uh, it's been great playing here, and uh, we'll see everybody in the finals. We're fired up. We want to win two in a row, back to back, and then we'll look for a three-peat. No, I'm just teasing. Yeah, no, so speaking on the championship game, you play tomorrow night. Yep. Um, no, excuse me, Thursday, Thursday night, sorry. Yep. Um, either against the uh, McBuckets, who you played in the finals last year, yep. or Patrick Chewing. Yes. Um, so, any preference? I mean, you already beat McBuckets yeah. last year for the chip. The interesting thing is, Patrick Chewing is from Blindbrook High School, where my daughter attends. So these guys are the same age as my daughter. So you want so, to beat them on the court and off the court. Yeah, exactly. So stay away. Now, we'd love, we, either team, we, you know, we want to play because we want to beat them. But we'd love to see McBuckets again in the finals for a, for a repeat. and Because uh, I know they want us bad, but we want them again, too, to show them it wasn't a fluke. So we're ready for either one. Well, good luck. You played awesome. Your team played awesome. We'll see you in the chip. Absolutely. Thank you. Corn Chesterton, Ultimate Hoops Basketball League, here with Matt Moe of McBuckets who just helped his team go to back-to-back -to -back championship games. You won 53-47. Um, you're playing Massa Coastal again in the championship game. What was that game tonight like Patch against Patrick Chewing? It was tough. They're young. They're fast. They got a, a big center. Uh, it took a, a team effort to beat them. But you played great down the end. Uh, you, you love that coast-to-coast -coast move, you know? Matt Muller, a.k.a. coast-to-coast. -coast. Um, you had two big baskets. I think made your team come up by seven. Rematch! Rematch! <laughs> There's one, one of your opponents on Master Coastal. So um, you played great tonight. So last year, you guys lost to Master Coastal in the championship game. You had a lead, I think, with like under a minute left. You had a three-point lead. Lost the game. What are your thoughts going into the championship game trying to get some revenge? We got some confidence from the last game when we met them. Uh, we beat them. It was another tight game, but uh, you know, I'm confident. I'm confident. Our team is uh, playing a little bit better. You know, I got to give it up to Justin, playing a little bit more team ball, playing really well. So hopefully you guys will be smart in the championship game if you have a lead, maybe hold the ball a little bit more. Um, well, nice job tonight. We'll see you in the championship game on Thursday, brother. All right, Ultimate Hoops, James Mooney here, back with my main man, Corn Chesterson. I'm so Sun happy poisoned, to be back. blistered, and I'm so everything. happy to be back with James Mooney. Woo. Just so you guys know, <laughs> Corn is in Miami. Yeah, man. Living it up. You see this? Man? Nice olive oil skin right now. I'm speaking Espanol now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get right into it. We got Massa Coastal. And rematch! Mc, and McBuckets, Thursday night at 7.30. Championship game. Championship game, rematch, revenge, you know, whatever you want to call it. Not only for McBuckets, for Massa Coastal too. For Massa Coastal too. And the reason for that is Corn. During the regular season, this season, McBuckets gave Massa Coastal their only loss of their U Hoops career. Yes. So Massa Coastal's mad. Master Coastal is not playing around, but McBuckets isn't playing around either. No, they got blowers. Yeah. Justin Craig's locking in right now, playing big at the right time. Yeah. I, Matt Muller is turning into a stud and all at the right time. Get off the Matt Muller train, <laughs> all right? The train, he goes coast to coast in like, he does. In like two seconds. He does. He's the he's little engine that could, but he ain't so little, man. He can move. He can motor. But you know who's going to match up with him really well? Who's that? Who's the motor you think on Massa? What, Kraus or Axelrod? Axelrod. Axelrod is a machine. Brett and Matt, that is going to be a Brett will tell war. you. Brett will tell you in that regular season game, they might have lost that game because he left with about like 13 minutes left yeah. in that game or yeah. something like that. So he didn't get to finish out that game. He wants revenge. 
he didn't even, they beat Pippen ain't easy tonight once, but he beat them three times. <laughs> Pretty much. This guy's 49 years old, yeah. stayed after to play one on one bomb against Steve Schwartzbaum. And whooped his butt. Whooped his butt twice. <laughs> so he's got three victories over Pippen ain't easy in one night. Yeah, Brett's not playing around, so Brett and Matt's going to be a fantastic matchup. However, who's going to stop Kraus? Forget about who's going to stop Kraus. Mass is going to go zone again. Yeah. So, I but, imagine but they're going to shooters. So did Pippen. So did Pippen. AJ, I don't even want to talk about that. But, I mean, at least McBuckets can hit a shot when it counts. That's true, because you have Justin, and his range can extend. Again, he's, he's not that consistent as he gets further back, but he's still a threat. Yeah, he's back there. Game. Yeah. And Doug. I think old man Doug took his knee brace off and yeah. uh, made a couple three-pointers tonight. Shout-out to Doug. Socks. <laughs> Gave me a shout out on my socks. I'll give you a shout out for your jump shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, here's what I'm anticipating. I'm, I'm anticipating Masson will will go back to that zone and ride it out. Mm -hmm. If if McBuckets can't get some threes or get the ball in the hoop like Pippen couldn't today, they're just going to sit in that zone. And the problem with zones are, it could just get to you, man. Yeah. And it forces you to shoot that outside shot. It, it forces you to be a little more impatient because you're getting open look, so you just want to shoot them. And, yeah. the, and the especially if Michael's on the bench, Mike will be yelling and yelling. Oh, Guys, if they're not making their shots. Forget it. You know, you know Mike ain't, isn't going to close his mouth, but <laughs> the problem with, with, with Mass is that if they do start to hit shots, how are they going to match up? Yeah. I would imagine Greco on Justin. Who does Steve yeah. guard? Yeah. Sam? Uh, yes. Sam Cohen? Sam or Doug? I mean, maybe Doug. Maybe Doug. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch. I know. I mean, McBuckets has obviously has the pieces to beat Mass. So they beat him in the regular season, and not for nothing in the championship game last year they had a they had a three point lead. They had him with I think under a minute. Justin yeah. takes an ill advised shot. Does he go in and then try you know, to put the dagger? Try to put the good. dagger in when he when he could have just held the ball. Um, McBuckets is playing well as of late. You know, if they keep their head and play well together. They could play well, but Mass and Coastal, I didn't expect much from them tonight. I thought Pippen was going to put up a better fight. Uh, they did not. And that was game was a ball. But, but Mass had really proved that they wanted to win tonight. You know, Near played hard. Krause, Extremely hard, Near. Yeah, Near played uh, Pepe played great. He's a good role player. Yeah. Brett is shooting great from three. It's going to be a fun matchup because Massa could come down and hit some shots, and then McBuckets is known for just getting the ball out of the basket and just coming right back at you and making their own style. So maybe Mass won't even have time to get in their zone. That's true. Uh, you but, know, because Justin gets that ball and he goes down. I'll tell you what, though. Massa pushes the ball. Massa pushes the ball. They run with the best one. Brett's up and down the court. Yeah. Steve o is always looking to push and kick. He's one dribble and he's outlining up the floor to Pepe or whoever. They move. Yeah. For a team that's kind of older on the older side, they run. It's going to be a track meet. Because I know when Muller gets a rebound, he's a big rebound. He goes. He's gone. Uh, Massey gets a rebound, they're outlining it to Steve, they're outlining it to Pepe, Brett, and they're pushing the yeah. ball. So you're not going to see much zone defense. You know, the only time you'll see it is off the tip when there's time to set up your defense. But this game's going to be back and forth. I think it's going to be high scoring. It's going to be good. Are we going in predictions or what? Well, here's, here's the first question I have. Does Steve score 44 again? Or yeah, 40, yeah I mean, Steve, Steve... Does McBuckets learn their friggin' lesson from that time? Uh, I mean... I hope they do. Maybe they put two guys on them. They, I mean, I don't want to give away strategies, but Pippen, they had a great strategy on AJ today. It looked like they had a shadow on him, and then once he beat that guy, they had another two guys coming at him. So it's like AJ was taken out of the equation. They said, someone else beat me. Yeah, exactly. So McBuckets, if you haven't learned your lesson by now, Steve is a really good basketball player. He knows how to put the ball in the basket. Put five guys on it. Go box them one if you have to. Do something. Like, just try and take him out of the game. Even though it's going to be hard, he's still going to get his. But make somebody else beat you. I, I agree. Um, yeah. Steve could definitely get his. Yeah. But at the same time, you can limit him. He's not Superman. Although he's shown that he, he just might have a cape under that jersey. But bottom line is this. Get the ball out of his hands. And that's all I'll say about that. Because, mm -hmm. again, I'm not, I'm not downplaying... Masses guys like Brett and those guys, but it's like you know what? When you look at Steve and he's averaging twenty seven a game, you yeah. look at Pepe who maybe he's averaging. Steve, 10 you know he's gonna be on every night. It's the like other guys, they're on, but maybe they have an off night. Yeah, so you just gotta put the pressure on them and see if they rise to the occasion. Then if they they're making shots, either live with it or make the adjustment. But 
you can't allow Steve to do what he did in last season's championship because Steve's going to come to play, man. He's a big game player. Yeah. There's no pressure that he hasn't seen before no. or felt. No. So that's the bottom line with Steve. I so, so it, it, does he score forty? Does he? Does he? All right, let's. Does he score thirty or more? Yeah. No, I, thirty or more. Definitely. 30 more, Steve. That that's I don't even have to, you know, ask you to score 30 more. He could do that in his sleep. I'm gonna say no. Really? I'm gonna say no. I think McBuckets learned the lesson. I, I think they So who do you think has a big game on McBuckets? For McBuckets. Jay Craig? I'm gonna say Jay Craig, man. And I think Jay Craig and Moeller play play really well. Moeller if he's hitting his low post shots and Justin is streaming from outside, they're gonna be tough. Here's the problem with Muller. If if Adam Krause guards him, He's going he's gonna to give Adam problems because yeah. Matt is very good. He's active. He uses his body well. He can get Adam in foul trouble. Yeah. And with the way he runs, Adam isn't running up and yeah, down. Yeah, you're like right. That. Matt, maybe take that into account. Run up and down. Adam yeah. is But again, I, I, I still think Brett and him are the, is the matchup. I don't know who then Adam will guard. Maybe Mike Egan? Yeah. I don't know because Tommy Maddox's not there. Yeah. So I don't know. It, again, but again, I, I really think it's, it's going to be, be a fun. zone. It's going to be a really fun game. Now with our prediction, uh, you're a massive guy, man. This guy I'm a massive like, guy because it's like, hey, you you gotta prove me wrong. But you know what? I've been on the massive train a little bit. I'm going with McBuckets here. You're I, taking McBuckets. I'm taking McBuckets here. I really think McBuckets could, could pull off the the huge upset. Although, I don't think it's much of an upset. McBuckets has your number, Massa. They really do. They 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 had you in the championship game. They blew it themselves. Yeah. They lost that game. Yeah. And Although Steve hit two Steve, miraculous yeah, Steve, three pointers. Steve there. did his job. This season, now without AJ, they beat you in the regular they season. They beat you in the regular season. So who knows? So I'm gonna go high scoring game, 90 to 86. Dang it, Mick Buckets. I I've never really been on the master train, but you know Brett nags at me every day. He's showing me that he wants it. You know he's out here shooting late. Yep. He's saying the Drake line, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. <laughs> Unless you were Steve uh, Schwartzbaum, you were shooting with him. Um, Mass is really good. Steve's unbelievable. Krause is great. McBuckets, this is your time. Hold on. I know you guys want this. This is what you couldn't get last year. Massa Coastal has one already. McBuckets. And a banner on the way. And a banner on the way. This is what you guys are playing for right here. This is nice, man. This is heavy. Real gold. We did it. Big this year. McBuckets, do you want it? Massive, do you want it? Let's go. Let's go. Championship time. Championship game, Thursday night, 7.30. 7 Chairs will be out. Fans watching, come and support. Come and support. The bar will be open yeah. afterwards. Mooney's buying, man. You could probably only get one or two drinks on his kind of car. But we're going to try. Chill out with the drinks. We're going right? to try. All right. So, 7.30, Thursday night. Bring your game, Massa. Bring your game, McBuckets. You've been on this stage before. I'm expecting big things. Corn, any last words? Yeah, can I get this trophy home with me? Can Probably I not. I mean, you can take it home, but you gotta bring it back. Who wants the trophy, man? This is big time. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm psyched up. Thursday night. James Mooney. Corn. Later. Peace.